Yeah, so this is a piece I cut recently near Sandy, Oregon. Clearing for Christmas tree plantations. It's kind of a fun unit. Smaller wood, but nice conditions. It's kind of steep in a place or two. There always is something, but uh, really, it really was nice ground and uh, uniform stand. You know, we're late winter, early spring, and we've been getting some kind of crazy weather, snow and whatnot. And, uh, this time of year, even without late snow, the ground is fully saturated. So there are some steep pitches that above live water that I couldn't couldn't get on. It was just too slick. But other than that it was it was a cream puff, a lot of fun. I enjoy cutting small wood. This stand here, you'll see I'm doing quite a lot of accumulating, which is a little bit unusual for me. I mean a lot of stands I'm in, you know, is actually big wood, but oftentimes it's single stem size. But this was a smaller stand, and um, one thing that made it easier to accumulate is that it had a, the stems had a good live top to them. And I'm always curious what other people, what other operators think, but I find that a live top helps me, you know, accumulate because the stems stay together and uh, um, so you can you know pull them into the head they, they hold together and so when you go to drop them in your bunch they, they go down in a group rather than going all catawampus but a uniform stand like this is really what a buncher is made for you can really put a lot of wood on the ground. I think this is about a 20 acre block. If I remember right, I think it's about two and a half days cutting for me. It was pretty good wood. It, was, it wasn't quite as good as we were hoping for. I think it was an early genome there. and um, kind of bred to grow too fast. So there was in parts of the stand that was quite a lot of sinuosity or speed bumps, and, uh, which was unfortunate. This block here uh, had pretty nice form. Yeah, so you can kind of see when I spin around, I, I'm, this is my second block, cut block on this unit. I knocked a pretty good sized hole in it, you know, the first day. And uh, as I've said before, what I like to do is to break a unit up into blocks, kind of that are somewhat uniform and lead and, you know, topography and aspect and whatnot. It just makes it more productive, more efficient for me. And um, this one here, you can see, as we're looking now, it kind of drops down to a live crick. And so it, it came up behind me as I'm cutting right now. It rose up to a, a ridge. And um, then the drops off quite sharply on the other side. and. So what I was doing, I was using that ridge as a split line on this unit because that way I didn't have to change direction, you know, to put my level and capability down now. So. Yeah, just another idea for you. Things I think about keep me cutting. Get that wood on the ground. Hope you enjoy it. I did. Good cutting to you. Thanks.